Hey everyone, what's going on? Welcome back to another edition of Flick News, the show here on Fleet Direct where I give you guys the latest seven and entertainment news throughout the week, and then I give you all my personal take of the matter at hand. I'm your host, Oz, to put them in this week, my word. There were quite a few bombshells I dropped this week, and I'm going to start with the first big one. I mean, this is a big bomb shall I drop that does get a little concerned, but I'm still looking up for optimism, and that is this. As you all know, the Kane Festival, wait, the Kane, I think it's the Con, either way, the Con Film Festival has been going on for the past couple of days, and the Con Film Festival is essentially the one of the big, I believe, five films festivals. One of them is Martin Scorsese's new film, I think, Killers of the Flower Moon, if I'm not mistaken, and that film had got glowing, I mean, rave reviews, but one film in particular that did date debut is the latest and last Indiana Jones film, which is Indiana Jones, The Dial of Destiny, which is a film that I can't wait to see made by James Mangold, although I think it's one of the best writers working today. But apparently, guys, get this, Indiana Jones, The Dial of Destiny debuted to mixed reviews. As a matter of fact, guys, Indiana Jones, The Dial of Destiny is currently sitting at a 52%. On Rotten Tomatoes. To be fair, Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny has only about 20, I believe, 9 reviews so far, which is still at a small amount of reviews, but it's just enough to an extent to give a critical conscious. Am I a little bit worried about this? Sure I am, because here's the thing. I absolutely love the Indiana Jones franchise with Raid of the Lost Ark and Last Crusade, which is my personal favorite one, being amongst my favorite movies of all time. This is the ending of the Indiana Jones franchise, and it's being helmed by the guy who made Logan, 310 to Yuma, and 4 v Ferrari. I mean, James Mangold is a phenomenal filmmaker. While I may be a little worried about this, at the same time, I'm so excited. Bring on Indiana Jones. I can't wait to see the last one of this franchise. I am very excited, nonetheless. I want to talk about the box office this week, in particular for one film that just came out, and that is Fast X, a movie that I quite frankly enjoyed a lot. At first, guys, get this, people were not expecting Fast X to get that much money on its opening weekend. We'll get this, guys. Fast X is doing so well on its opening weekend that it pulled in a massive draw for its worldwide box of a syntake. And here's the thing, for some context guys, the overall budget of Fast X is $340 million, one of the most expensive films ever made. And guess how much it's made already? $318 million worldwide. That is absolutely insane. Congrats to Fast X for making that much money and do I think it's gonna break even knowing this absolutely freaking lily and knowing where this film ended I can't wait to see more I know this was a tiny update but this was still an update I want to share because I am reading this for this movie to succeed I want to see the last two movies given especially how it ended and knowing it made this much congratulations to everybody on the Fast X team was the director Louis Latier and everybody involved you guys made an awesome movie that I had a great time with and knowing how much money it made it makes me very excited to see where this franchise is going to go next for its last two movies. I can now wait. Congratulations, Fast X crew. Congratulations. When I saw this particular headline, I got a little nervous, but at the same time, I know the reason why everything has ceased with the same time. I can't help but be a little bit nervous. Let's talk about The Last of Us on HBO, which, by the way, if you have not seen The Last of Us, somehow, please check it out, guys. The Last of Us, it's an amazing I mean, an amazing adaptation of one of the greatest games of all time. When I heard that they were making season two up of The Last of Us Part Two, I got very, very excited. And apparently, they're fully underway of getting the roles cast. I believe scripts were being written. But apparently, guys, work on The Last of Us Season Two has ceased because, as you all can imagine, the Writers Guild strike is still going on. As far as I'm aware, I think that studios are going to come up with an idea or some type of a studio bargain or a deal very very soon and i hope so many films and many tv productions suffered because of the writers guild strike and i just fear that because of this strike it's going to suffer a lot and i mean a lot of things so i'm hoping this gets worked out because the last of us season two has potential to be one of the greatest second seasons 
ever made due to how great the first season was. So I am only hoping that The Last of Us Season 2 gets everything done at this point. I'm hoping a deal is struck between the writers and the studios make things right studios. That's gonna wrap it up for this week's show. Please comment on this down below starting off. How do y'all feel about Anna Jones 5, The Dial of Destiny, getting mixed reviews upon its debut at the Kane Film Festival or the con I keep getting them mixed up. Also, how do you feel about Fast X making a monster of an opening of the box office? And also, how do you all feel about The Last of Us Season 2 stopping work all the way to the Writers Guild of America strike? Let us know below. I hope you enjoyed this week's show. If so, please hit that like button, also share, and don't forget the subscribe button and the notification bell for the latest new show goes live. If you guys want to see our previous two new shows, please click it right there or right there. And of course, until our next new show goes live next week, have a great week week guys hit like smash subscribe and get notified for whenever reviews interviews and news go live